Hey guys, back again. It's October 2nd and not a lot of preparation for this video. I'm going to try to rush this one out because I've had to take care of other things, but we're going to talk about the 2018 Halloween movie, which I was really skeptical about at first because some of the reviews that I read I thought weren't really so good or the reviews that I watched on YouTube. My cousin wanted me to see this with him uh, when it came out in theater and I regret that I didn't because I really do like this movie. And now with the whole COVID thing and not being able to go to theaters and stuff and enjoy it like we used to. Yeah. Um, so this is supposed to be like a direct sequel from the original Halloween. The original Halloween, many people say that is their favorite horror movie of all time. I've at least talked to three people who said that, who I've asked. And um, I mean, it's almost like every person I've asked. I mean, uh, there's a lot of other people that, you know. I want to know more what people think, so what's your favorite horror movie? Anyways, I think the best horror movie of all time to me is The Exorcist, but I don't argue with the Halloween being a great movie. John Carpenter's and Austin Directories made a lot of other great movies. Jamie Lee Curtis, a great actress um, in these, and Michael Myers is just iconic, and the theme music is iconic, and The Mask. And I watched a lot of, um, what's his name? Ugh, I'm struggling for his name now. Um, anyways, one of the YouTubers that I watch, he reviews a lot of horror movies and stuff. And he thinks that this was the best uh, Michael Myers mask out of all the movies. Now, I haven't seen all of them. I've seen the first one. I think I've seen Halloween H2O, and I kind of liked that one, and I've seen this one. So I need to go through and watch all the Halloween movies. But... Um, Eventually, I guess, I got interested in this enough, and I just wanted to get it on Blu-ray. And I was like, it's a Halloween movie, how bad could it be? I think a lot of the complaints was that some of the same kills that were used in previous movies were in this, or whatever. I don't know. But I think it's really great. And it's really, it looks really good because it's modern, and, you know, everything's really crisp. And um, some of the images on the back of the Blu-ray here. Hands down the best Halloween sequel ever, they say. It says, Jamie Lee Curtis returns to her iconic role as Laurie Stroder, who comes to her final confrontation with Michael Myers, the masked figure who has haunted her since she nearly escaped his killing spree on Halloween night four decades ago. So this takes place 40 years after the original Halloween. Master of Horror John Carpenter joins forces with director David Gordon Green and producer Jason Bloom who uh, was part of Get Out and Split, and this falls up on Carpenter's 1978 classic. You can see that Jamie Lee Curtis has aged, the Laurie Stroder character, and she now has a daughter. And so I'm going to give spoilers. I'm going to go over the video briefly and kind of jump around. The last time that I watched this was like a month ago, so it's not exactly fresh in my mind, but I've, it's been on my mind a lot lately because I let someone at work borrow this because they said they've seen, they loved Halloween. And also another thing, a lot of people that I ask, you know, what's your favorite horror movie? They tell me Halloween. And then I'm like, well, have you seen Halloween 2018? And they haven't. And some other people have been kind of skeptical of it too. And so I let someone borrow it. I was like, here, you know, you should check it out. It's pretty good. And um, so anyway, it starts off basically with these uh, journalists or whatever. They're kind of wanting to interview Michael Myers and they have his original mask and He's like in an insane asylum and they meet him outside like in the yard area where he's only contained in like a little circle and there's a lot of other psychotic mental patients around and they're all contained to like their own little circle. They're like chained or whatever. And uh, so he doesn't have his mask on, but you don't see his face. You see that he has like gray hair. He's aged, but uh, you only see kind of the back of him. The journalist wants to talk to him and, you know, Michael doesn't give any response and, um, he brings up the the mask and you know he's like you can feel it you can feel it can't you you can sense it and he just kind of looks back a little bit i think or moves his head slightly or something but all the other inmates are in the asylum are going nuts and anyways we find out like Lori strode has a daughter and i don't remember if the daughter had to live with somebody else because Lori stroder is kind of crazy but i think that Lori stroder kind of trained her up uh, to protect herself and taught her how to shoot and stuff like that, I think. But uh, her daughter's like a teenager anyway. So we see some storyline with her daughter. Basically, there's a 
the prom or the high school dance or whatever. So that's kind of part of it. And no, I'm skipping around. But anyways, Michael Myers ends up escaping. Big surprise. And uh, I think the first victims are the ones... Um, well, maybe the, the people in the asylum. I don't remember when the way he escapes. But he ends up going after the journalists who were trying to question him. And uh, meets him in a bathroom. He kills him in a bathroom. It's pretty brutal. He basically like, bashes the head, guy's head against the wall and stuff until he's dead. And um, but he ends up getting his mask like out of their trunk, and he puts on his mask. Um. And so we see a scene. A scene that I really love is when he is in the town like during Halloween and it's nighttime and it's like okay Michael Myers is loose and it's Halloween and he has the mask and he walks into a home and the first thing he picks up is like a hammer and then he like kills somebody with a hammer and he walks into another room and like it strangles somebody or something and uh eventually ends up picking up the chef knife or like the you know the kitchen knife that's kind of like his iconic uh killing weapon <laughs> and it's like at that point it's like yes like he has like his knife like that's the way they kind of lead you on is like you know he grabs the hammer he does this and it's like no that's not right that's not right and then it's like finally it's like yes the knife <laughs> but um and i remember there's like a baby crying i don't remember if he kills the baby or not but if he does you don't see it maybe the baby's like crying and then it stops um i don't remember if he does kill it or not but i know you're like no like don't kill the baby but um I love that scene because, like, the iconic music plays, too, like, during that, that scene. And it's like, okay, Michael's back. It's Halloween. He's got his mask. He's got the knife. Like, now we're set. Now he's got to find Lori, right? I know there's some stuff that ends up going on at um, this high school dance. The girl, her boyfriend, kind of, like, kisses another girl or something. So she gets ticked off and she leaves. And one of her friends leaves with her, a guy friend. And um, this guy friend tries hitting on her, and she's like, no, like, I'm not interested in that. And he ends up getting killed by Michael. Anyway, she ends up, like, getting a hold of her mom. And Lori Stroder has this house now that's, like, booby-trapped, basically. Or she has, like, a, a, a bunker, like, in the house where there's, like, a kitchen counter. And underneath that is, like, an armory where she has, like, all these guns and everything. And, uh... So the counter like turns open and then you can see a stairway going down. Um, but anyways, the chase ends up leaving to the, leading to that house. But I guess I, I skipped a part here. Okay, well, some way along the way, there's also like the original police officer from the first one. And he's in this. And um, there's, I don't know if it's Dr. Loomis or if it's another psychiatric guy. But there's some uh, psychiatric guy that knows Michael and everything and he's there and uh somehow uh, I don't remember how the scenes goes but the the cop hits Michael with his car or something like he has the girl that was running and or somehow Michael gets knocked out and they put him in the uh back seat of the cop car with the girl and the psychiatrist guy is in the uh, seat with the cop and he's like he didn't want him to shoot him or something he didn't want him to kill him and he's like we got to keep him alive and he's like i want to know like what michael's like like i want to know like what goes on inside of his mind so he ends up like stabbing the police officer in the neck or something and killing the police officer so the psychiatrist guy is like a psycho too and that ends up being like a twist and um, he ends up, I think he puts on like Michael Myers mask like on his own face or something. And he's like, you know, I want to know, does Michael get any pleasure when he kills people and stuff like that? He's like wanting to know what's inside Michael's head. And anyway, Michael ends up coming to and ends up killing this guy. And I think, I don't know if he kills him this way or if he kills the cop. I think that he kills the psychiatrist guy. Basically, he just stomps on his head. And, you know, after he's already stabbed him or attacked him or whatever, he's crawling or he's almost dead. And 
Michael Myers just like crushes his head like a watermelon. <laughs> That's one of the goriest kills in the movie. Definitely, it's one of the memorable ones because it doesn't cut away. Like you see all of it, and it's dark and stuff. So it's not like really detailed, but it's just nasty. It's like, oh, and it's like, what is Michael Myers like? Have the strength of a tank or something? <laughs> like, okay, whatever. Anyway, it's a nasty kill scene. Anyways. Somehow the girl ends up getting to her mom, Lori Stroder. They're in that house. Michael ends up coming to that house. And um, they hide down there in that bunker. And basically, well, there's a part where they fight. Somehow Michael Myers fights with Lori Stroder, like up upstairs. And it's like a two-story house. He ends up like knocking her out of the window or something or off the ledge and she falls on the floor or on the ground outside sorry and it's like you know she's dead or she's knocked out and michael like turns around and then looks back and then she's gone and it plays like the music that they play in halloween like when michael does that like usually michael's the one that disappeared but this time like Lori disappeared and it's like ooh, like two can play that game so i love that scene and but they end up hiding in this bunker, and they're, like, listening to Michael's footsteps, like, oh, they're all scared, you know? And uh, it's like, Ch -ch -ch. and next thing you know, he just, like, rips that counter off or whatever. Like, he knows what's going on. He just, it's like no hiding from him. He just rips it out. And uh, somehow they end up shooting him or whatever anyway, and they get him down in the bunker, and then they get to the top. And... Um, Basically, I think, if I remember right, like he's trying to chase him or something. I think maybe the steps collapse and it's like a slide or something, or I don't know what. Anyways, I know there's a part before they finish it that Michael gives Lori like this look, like helpless, like a sad puppy dog, like, oh, don't leave me, don't kill me. <laughs> it's like, oh, Michael, you got to feel so sorry for him. But anyways, she ends up shutting like that stairway there's like a gate that comes over it or you know it closes they end up leaving the house basically and like all the doors and stuff have like steel that comes down and closes the whole the whole house is like a trap and uh she basically sets it on fire like down in that bunker room or whatever the, it was set up to where it would explode and so that's basically the end of the movie i think the whole house explodes and um, I don't remember how it ends after that, if the girl, uh, her daughter still has the knife or if there's supposed to be any hints at anything in the future, I don't really remember. But basically the house blows up. I don't know. So yeah, I know that was all over the place. But yeah, it has the original music and basically like the original mask, but it's like weathered. And uh, I still need to think of it. Man, what is that guy's name? What a... I know Chris Stuckman's a great reviewer, but it's not him. Oh, Cody Leach. Cody Leach does a lot of horror movie reviews and marathons, and he ranked, like, all the movies and stuff. He ranked The Mask, and he ranked the actors that played Michael Myers, so he put a lot into that. But he thinks that this mask is, like, the number one mask. Um, but I think it's pretty good, as I definitely would suggest it. Um... Yeah, so there's a lot of cool factors here. But yeah, the main scenes that stick out to me is, you know, when he's grabbing the hammer and stuff before he gets the knife, the head crushing scene, and, you know, the stuff at the end. But I don't know what else to say about it. Like I said, it's been a little while since I've watched it. But what can you really expect from a Halloween movie? You know, it's pretty much got everything that I think that you would expect. Uh, maybe not a lot of original kills or whatever. Um, so there are, there are other things that happen, but that's just what comes to mind. But what you see over here on this screen is when that journalist guy is It's very at the very beginning. Which, that's memorable to me, too. It's just the way the movie opens when he's, like, holding the mask up. And uh, it's kind of like the mask has, like, supernatural powers, almost. So, anyway, 
that's Halloween for you, Halloween 2018. Hopefully they'll come out with another Halloween movie and it'll be good. But I guess it's been a couple of years. So we'd always like to see like Jason versus Michael Myers too. And I know there's a YouTube video of that that I watched, like a fan fiction that's pretty good. You know, or even Michael versus Freddy versus Jason. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I don't know. So check it out, guys. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you next time.